I am in my bathroom, as you can tell, and I'm about to start my nighttime cleaning routine of myself. It's a weird way to put it. My like little self-care routine that I do every night to just make myself feel clean and fresh. And this is such an important part for me of my productivity routine. I essentially like to do as much as I can at night to set myself up for feeling the best the next morning. In my mind, what I do at night is just as important for my productivity as how I start the morning. So that's why I wanted to include all of these nighttime things also in this because it is so important. When I don't do these things and take care of myself to the best of my ability and take care of my space, at night, I wake up not feeling as good as I do when I do these things. You know what I mean? So it is currently around 8 p.m. This is actually a relatively early start. Usually I do this later, but I like to do it as early as I possibly can. I feel like when I do all this stuff late and I'm showering late, then I feel like I'm kind of rushing to get into bed at a decent time so that I can wake up early and like still get a full night's sleep. The sooner the better for this. And so we're starting now. I'm about to hop in the shower. I have a hair mask on. I actually put it on like a couple hours ago at this point. My hair's like drying too. I think that it's not supposed to do that. Like it's supposed to stay wet for the hair mask to even work. So I need to shower. I swear my shower routine has improved a hundred fold and has just made me so much happier since I switched my body wash. Okay. I don't know why I was doing this, but I used to use unscented body wash. I don't know why I was doing that. I can't see, I don't know why I took my glasses off. I decided one day to start using body wash with a nice scent in it. And ever since then, I have been so much happier in the shower. When I get done with my shower, I just feel so much better because I smell nice and it's a little added plus bonus. The body wash that I use is the Native Body Wash and I have the coconut and vanilla scent that is absolutely my freaking favorite scent from Native, I have it in the deodorant and also the deodorant body spray as well. And Native is actually sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. <sighs> I love Native. If you don't know what Native is, they make daily staples like deodorant, body wash, soap, shampoo, toothpaste that are good, clean, fun, and cruelty free. And they do this because they believe that we all deserve personal care products without any dirty secrets. I have Native's Best Sellers Pack, which includes the deodorant body wash and the deodorant and body spray. And this pack has truly made my shower routine so much more fun. I got the same scent for all of them, the coconut and vanilla, because it is my absolute favorite. I have three of their classic deodorants. These are the scents that I have. These deodorants provide up to 72 hours of odor protection. They are aluminum and pair been free and I personally have really sensitive skin so all three of my deodorants I got are from their sensitive range. Also like I said I have the coconut and vanilla body wash. Their body wash is made with naturally derived ingredients to help cleanse your skin and it just leaves my skin feeling really soft and hydrated and it froths really nicely also into a nice lather which I love. And then finally there's the deodorant and body spray. This is a cooling light mist. It dries on contact and it just leaves you smelling great and feeling fresh. It provides instant odor protection and it doubles as an all over fragrance spray. It also doesn't leave any yellow stains on clothing which thank god because nothing <laughs> irritates me more than when I get a good nice new white t-shirt and then you know. So you can get your very own bestsellers pack today, which is normally $36, but if you use my link in the description and my code Hannah Elise, you can get your deodorant body wash and the deodorant body spray for only $24, which is 33% off. If you don't know which scent to pick, you can try my favorite one, which is coconut and vanilla. Maybe I'm biased. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring today's video. I love you. I'm going to shower. I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to do everything and then I'll be back and we'll continue. After I was done cleaning myself up, it was time to clean up my space, which is equally as important, honestly. I had a few things that I needed to put away and just things that I had been kind of putting off doing. Since I got started with this a little bit early, I had some extra time, which is exactly why I love getting started early. I went around and just did kind of some little chores around the apartment. I 
had some stuff in the living room from some things that I bought. I had some boxes I needed to break down that I had just been sitting there. So I took the time now to do that. And then of course I vacuumed because vacuuming is my favorite thing to do. Vacuuming is my favorite form of cleaning, period. Anyway, then it was time to do Charlie's night routine, including but not limited to cleaning her litter box. That's all I showed. But at that point, my room was clean, my living room was also clean, and my desk was clean, which is the most important part. It is now 11.15 p.m. I am getting ready to hop in bed. I ideally want to be in bed by 11 p.m. flat, but I was playing with Charlie, and she is my priority, so we were playing in... No, it's 11.15 and I'm gonna go to bed. Depending on when I fall asleep, I target to wake up between seven and eight. Seven is my ideal time to wake up. If I'm asleep between 11 and 12, then I'll set my sights for seven, 7.30. So we'll see. I hope it's not too loud in here with all my like million fans and AC. I know that I am the most productive when I get hit the ground running in the morning. I just am as the day goes on, especially when it hits like mid afternoon, I lose it. I lose all my Ow. my energy and motivation. Sometimes I'll pick it up again in the evening, but I want my evenings to be for unwinding and relaxing time. So that in conclusion leads us to where we started is that I need to get up early because that's when I'm the most productive. Signing out for tonight. I feel really good and ready for the morning. Okay, good night. Usually the first thing I do in the morning is make my bed. Everybody says that, I know. Making your bed first thing in the morning does actually help, okay. But today is Monday, so I take my sheets off on Mondays and I wash them. I have quite a long to-do list today. I actually went ahead last night and I just had so many, first of all, I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> I had so many thoughts in my head about what I needed to do this week, so I decided to just go ahead and write them down while I had them in my head, so I'll show you that in a second. But one of the things that I realized I needed to do today, majorly, was laundry. So I'm starting with my sheets. When it comes to my productivity for the day, I found that in order to have the most productive day, I need to really hit the ground running first thing in the morning. And I know a lot of people say to do big tasks first or like do the most important things and get them out of the way. But I find that it's helpful for me to do a bunch of smaller things to like build momentum while also doing as much of my to-do list as possible in the first half of the day. Because as the day goes on, if there was like a graph of my productivity level and my motivation level throughout the day, it is, a sharp downward trend but then it kind of like comes up again at night for some reason sometimes I get a boost of energy at night and I want to do things but I basically need to try and do as much as I can in the first half of the day because that is what I found sets me up for the best overall productivity don't think just do that's the key to productivity <laughs> The very first thing I did when I walked in the kitchen is actually made some greens. No, this is not sponsored by the greens I'm drinking, but I've started doing that first thing in the morning. And then after that, of course, you know the drill, coffee time. This coffee time is really exciting because I got a new creamer, a pumpkin spice one, and it's making me so happy even though as I'm recording this voiceover right now, there's a heat wave in New York City, but we're gonna ignore that. I also am never really in the mood to eat like a full meal first thing in the morning. So I like to have a little snack, if you will, which is usually a banana with peanut butter. Fuck, I'm the last one. Shit. Oh God. Oh my God. 
That was dangerous. So I put my contacts in, which I never do, especially if I'm just like doing things around the house for the day, if I don't have like any plans necessarily to go anywhere, which I don't because today specifically I have a very busy day and I need to be productive and I all my work I just need to do here. But I put my contacts in because sometimes that almost tricks me into being more productive. When I put my contacts in, it seems like a bigger deal. Anyway, so I did that, put on a different outfit than what I slept in, which I also find helpful just to like freshen things up. I don't know. Now I can sit here and start getting my shit together for the day. And I'm gonna take you through, obviously as part of my productivity routine, my morning like check-ins that I do. And especially beginning of the week check-ins since I said today's Monday, this is the prime time, the best day to do all of these things. And this is the day that I like to do my like whole week check-in at a glance, like plan everything. I will say this is gonna be a very busy week. I am vlogging this week. I haven't started the vlog yet because I'm filming this right now. But once I'm done filming this, I'm going to start a weekly vlog. So that's gonna be coming next week. Be on the lookout for that. Because I have a very jam-packed week of a lot of prepping, a lot of work. I need to be very productive. I have a lot of things that I need to get done because I am and I want to go on said trip knowing I have everything pre-done, like it's everything's prepared. So I don't have to do a bunch of things and scramble on the trip, I can just enjoy the trip. So I need to get it started off on the right foot. I'm here at my desk. Oh, also I ordered, this is so besides the point, but I ordered a new microphone to go on my camera right now. There isn't a microphone connected to the camera. I'm just using the one that's in the camera. I am just so sick of having to edit the audio in Final Cut and then it almost sounds like robotic sometimes and it just really irritates me. I want good audio. I had another mic to go like a shotgun microphone for on my camera. I had another one, but I don't know. It just isn't doing it for me. The one that I have and I've had for years and years. So I upgraded and that is coming today. I think that's where I was going with this. I was gonna say that one of my biggest tips for productivity, especially in the morning to like get my day on the right foot is to not be on my phone and to like almost put my phone across the room so I'm not tempted to look at it anytime my brain isn't focusing on something for two seconds because I tend to do that. But I need to have my phone near me because my microphone is actually coming today. And I'm so excited. It was very expensive. Well, I don't know if very, for a microphone, I would say it was very expensive, but I think that it'll truly be worth it. I pray that my audio for when I'm like at least in my apartment and I'm filming on this, my main camera, because my vlog camera does not have a space for, like it doesn't have the capability of adding a microphone to it. And also the, the sound of my vlog camera is like actually pretty decent. So I don't, I'm not worried about that, but for videos I'm filming around my apartment and future sit down videos, I need good audio. So that's, I have my phone here because I'm waiting for that and I obviously cannot miss it because I'm, I'm just so excited about it, but that's so besides the point. All right, we're gonna do our daily and weekly check-in. I just posted, I need to readjust you guys. I just posted my Notion tour. If you wanna know specifically anything about my Notion because that is where the majority of this is happening, well, this in my planner, you can go check out that video. I did a whole Notion tour and went through all my pages, went through this specific page. This is my dashboard overview. This is where I start to do my, my check-ins for the day and for the week. I said this earlier, I think, but I went through last night and I already brain dumped a bunch of things that I need to do today. Here is my to-do list for the day. This is just my starting point. I'm probably gonna end up doing more. I have, I just have no idea. So this is everything I have. And then I go through typically on Monday, but last night I was feeling very chaotic mentally. So I went through and put some things that I'm doing this week already in my weekly schedule. So far I've done my sheets. I'm doing towels and I took out the trash. I still gotta do recycling. I'm filming this right now. So that's what we've got. This is me checking in with myself. Do I have anything else? I like doing this at the beginning of the week because I can look at the whole week, I can see everything that needs to be done, and then I can kind of move things around if I see that one day is a little bit less full 
of things. Like I have some more room, I can add more things. That is part one of my check-in. We keep that up and then we're gonna do part two of the check-in, which is my planner. Yes, I write things down on my Notion and I write things down in a planner and I also will write down things in my Apple calendar as well. And sometimes I'll even make an extra to-do list. I literally have to write stuff down so many times to ensure that I know it's there and it needs to be done and I don't forget it. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Now we're gonna head over to the planner. We're gonna go through my monthly calendar. We're going to see what we have in here, readjust any dates may have moved. And then we're gonna go in and update our weekly section. So I have a couple of dates that I need to update because things got switched around. Let's do it. I changed again because I am about to sit down and record my podcast and it gets really hot in here because I have to turn off my AC and my million fans. And I made myself another coffee to continue on with the day. I needed a little energy boost. I'll probably have a third, I'm not gonna lie. But this pretty much concludes my productivity routine. All of the things that I like to do on a regular basis. I mean, ideally every day, but obviously nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Whenever I make a video about productivity, I want to make it so clear that this is not the reality all of the time. This is my ideal, optimal productivity level. Sometimes I do only what I need to do to keep going and that's it. And that may look like the bare minimum, whatever, but sometimes all I've got in me is the bare minimum. And then sometimes I am super, super productive, but do not get it twisted. I am not hyper productive all the time. I would say I'm not even hyper productive most of the time. I try to maintain a realistic level of productivity in my life so that I'm managing and I'm getting the things that I need to get done, done. But it can be really easy to look at videos like this and people like me who post bits of their life online and to just kind of think that every day is like this and I'm super, super productive and organized all of the time. But that is just not the case. Uh, you are seeing probably like 10 to 20% of my whole life. You're only seeing what I'm showing you, you know what I mean? Like you're only seeing what I'm choosing to film. And I'm someone who does choose to film the bad or like not as great days as well as the good days because I want to be realistic and just show that this, what you're seeing on social media, ah! I got it. My mic is here. Oh my god, sorry, I had to run down and grab that. Sorry, I mic out of breath. Okay, anyway, my point is that these are the things that I like to do that will set myself up the best and that I know will set myself up the best to be the most productive. Are there times where I don't do all of these things or I'm not able to do all these things? Absolutely. But this is just what I know will help me to be the most productive that I can be. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I love watching videos of people being productive and just hearing about things that work for other people. So with that being said, that is gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. Again, thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. You can check the description for my discount code and my link to go shop Native's products wearing their sandalwood and shea butter deodorant right now, which is really gonna come in handy since I just like sprinted to grab this package. And that's it. I will catch y'all next Sunday with a brand new video. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day and an amazing rest of your week. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.